Rugby league is one of the toughest and fastest sports on the planet. The predominantly northern sport is making inroads into the southeastern London as Wigan take on Catalan Dragons in the Super 8 series at the Den on Saturday the 5th of September. It's very different to Rugby Union and despite its rough and tough appearance on the field, it's a great spectator sport with a wide family audience and really passionate fans. The simple aim of Rugby League is to score more points than your opponents during games which last for 80 minutes to 40 minute halves. A team scores tries worth 4 points by touching the ball down over their opponent's try line. There is then the opportunity to convert that to 6 points by kicking a goal. The other means of scoring are a penalty goal also worth 2 points and a drop goal or field goal worth just 1 point. There are two teams of 13 players with four reserves or substitutes on the interchange bench. Each team can make a maximum of 10 substitutions involving any combination of players. Rugby league players have to be multi-skilled, but some players do focus on roles within their teams, including carrying the ball into the opposition line, the forwards, attacking on the fringes, through the backs, and distributing the ball mainly via the hooker and halfbacks but all players work together in their team's defensive formation. The ball always has to be passed backwards. It can be passed as many times as you like until a player is tackled in possession. Each team has the ball for six plays or tackles. After a tackle, the ball carrier plays the ball back along the ground to a receiver standing directly behind them. After the six plays are completed, the team in possession must hand over the ball to the opposition. Most teams elect to kick at this point in order to gain as much ground as possible. The scrum is how the game is restarted following a knock-on, that's when a player drops the ball and it goes forward, or following a forward pass. Six players form a rugby league scrum which creates a good opportunity to attack as teams often use set plays. Penalties are awarded for infringements of the rules such as being offside, shoulder charges, holding down a tackled player for too long or interfering with the play the ball. Respect is a crucial principle of rugby league and a referee can also move the play 10 metres further up the field for the attacking side if the defending team shows dissent. The team awarded the penalty can choose to take a tap and resume play from where the penalty is awarded or they can kick for touch to gain further field position before restarting the game. They may also choose to kick for goal, which if successful, results in two points being awarded. A penalty also results in the tackle or play count being reset to zero, or what will often be referred to as another set of six. Something to watch out for is a 40-20. This is where the attacking player kicks the ball behind his own 40 metre line and it bounces it into touch within the opponent's 20 metre line. Note that it must land in the field of play before going out of play between the try line and the 20 metre line. If this happens, the side that kicked the ball get the advantage of putting the ball into the resulting scrum. This takes lots of skill, as the kick is often made under pressure of onrushing defenders. One other thing you might see is a goal line dropout. This happens when the attacking team is tackled within their own in-goal area. They are then required to kick the ball into the field of play from beneath their own goal. Well, that could be a very costly decision for these riders. Referee, 